to Marvel Bros. where we cover all things Marvel and everything pop culture. That's right. And on today's episode of Marvel Bros, we'll be covering the Falcon and the Winter Soldier news, uh, some Star Wars originals on Disney Plus news, uh, a little bit of Doctor Strange, Multiverse and the Madden news, and a whole bunch of other things. And with that said, please make sure to follow us on all of our social media accounts <coughs> at Marvel Bros 23 on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't That's forget right. about our YouTube channel. Where we're posting all of our reactions and all of our videos that we do here on Facebook. Yes, definitely. And you can also watch us right now on our website at www.marvelbros.com. We're we're alive with this right now. And also you can join our discord at the top right hand corner. So make sure you do that immediately. <laughs> and with that said, all of Marvel, Marvel bros, pop culture news updates are now available on Apple podcasts, Spotify, and Google podcasts. That is right. So let's just jump right into it. So it has been revealed that Falcon and the winter soldier will take place six months after Avengers Endgame. So if you watched the new episode of Falcon and Winter Soldier that just came out on Friday, it is amazing. You're just missing out. Yeah, if you're, that, you're that is out. Out. if you I'm haven't seen it yet, you're des- you're definitely missing out. But uh I will say that is one of the best beginnings of a TV show that I have seen like ever. <laughs> I, I agree. You know, uh coming from one division, you know, it was a huge improvement mm-hmm. in terms of a pilot episode. Um mm-hmm. It gave us a clear cut direction, which like how deep we're going to be going into the show and how ruthless some like heroes can be. <laughs> uh, and definitely mm-hmm. let us know that people are going to die. Like very clearly uh, showed that to us in the first episode. And I thought that was pretty cool. Um, we'll be coming out with a video talking about that. By the way. So just be on the lookout for that. Mm -hmm. you were saying like you know bro this is just like this is what we wanted you know what i mean Mm -hmm. like this is kind of what we asked for giving us a just letting us know how the blip affected people on their day-to-day lives you know what i'm saying not just uh superheroes necessarily and they did so far they did a very good job of portraying that and we're only in the first Mm -hmm. episode uh, and then with this confirmation of it being six months after the blip, it kind of lets us understand where we are in the timeline of the MCU. Yep. Uh, I think that's kind of like at the same time as a uh, Spider-Man far from home, if I'm not mistaken, or uh, <clears throat> I think so. I, yeah, Cause I, I'm pretty sure always, that happened like three months after. We, we always talk about this and we always, <laughs> I'm kind of curious cause we never like have a clear cut answer for that. Let's, uh, how far? Yeah. Oh, so it says it takes place eight months after Endgame. Okay. All right. Then, boom. There you go. You have a little bit more of a time mm. gap, though. <clears throat> so it happens. So, yeah, even WandaVision takes place before Spider-Man. Th- oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So either what's going on in WandaVision mm-hmm. is happening at the same time as yeah. the Falcon and Winter Soldier. I think that's what's going on. Mm-hmm. And, hey, that's awesome to me. I'm down. Yeah. That, that seems amazing. Um. I, I, it was a great first episode, and I'm happy that they let us know. I think this confirmation actually came out before we uh, saw Falcon and Winter Soldier. Yeah. So yeah, I'm happy was, that they let us know, like, what the time period is. Early Monday. And in the show, like, they they clearly tell you, like, it, it does take place six months. So you'll actually hear it in the show. Um, but that was nice of them to actually kind of let us know ahead of time. That way yeah. we kind of knew know what we're kind of getting involved with. Um, with that exactly. said, the first 15 minutes are insane. Yeah. So go watch Captain Definitely. America. Cap- <laughs> Captain America. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. <laughs> that show is legit, and I can't yeah. wait for next Thursday. Can't come fast yeah. enough. I'm definitely right there with you, bro, because I wasn't ready. That's all I can say is I wasn't mm-hmm. ready for the sheer amazingness that they laid on us with that one. Yeah. Um, I... 
Yeah, it was definitely everything we wanted it to be. And like Battery said, yo, you guys are definitely going to, you're definitely going to be happy with it because I know we are. And you know how how critical we are about things. On- <laughs> yeah. So it, if we're saying it's it's worth it, then it's definitely, it, it's the one, man. Yeah. It's, 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 I don't know. We have so much to look forward to and I'm, I'm just happy that yeah. we got what we got, so. I was about to say that. I mean, think about it. They gave us so much information, bro, mm-hmm. in just one yeah, one episode. Yeah. So, And then them telling us beforehand that uh, it's six months you know, later lets mm-hmm. us know that they're not going to be as mysterious about mm-hmm. everything the way WandaVision is. So, yeah. Yep. More to come in our you know, Falcon and Winter Soldier episode one breakdown coming later this week, probably. So Definitely. make sure you guys get to there so you can... Maybe watch it with a you know watch it while we talk about it and join in on the mm-hmm. on the conversation. So, yep. um, moving forward, huge news. I, okay, I've talked to you about this before. This, yeah, Star Wars Clone Wars Volume One and Two <coughs> will be released <coughs> on Dis- on Disney Plus, and I couldn't be more excited because now you'll get to see them. And oh, yeah, you're not ready, bro. You're not ready, bro. Not yeah. Ready. <laughs> I I've seen with this with this report, I seen like everyone going crazy. Like everyone was like, "Yo, finally!" Like we're like a greatness is coming. Like greatness oh. awaits for those who have not seen. And I'm like, I'm just pumped, yo, because mm-hmm. uh, I know this is like I remember you told you kind of broke down one of the scenes with Anakin, like kind of mm-hmm. going dark, and and I was like, "Oh, bro, that's I was that's amazing." Mm-hmm. And I love the animation style because it's super uh, Samurai Jack, you know. Yeah, uh, that's what it rem- reminds me of. And I'm, I think oh, it's, I'm he's the same dude who made it. Oh, that's amazing! <laughs> Pretty sure the dude no who made Samurai Jack uh, made that series, I believe. Oh yeah, that's awesome! Mm-hmm. I'm super down. I can't wait. Yeah. How, I, how you feeling about that one, man? I'm just, you know, I'm a little starstruck <laughs> because I'm growing up. <laughs> I was always mad about how short each episode was because, like, the whole series, both volumes one and two, was like two hours long. So you could watch the, oh, whole, okay. the whole thing. Uh, and I think each episode, honestly, five, it felt like ten to fifteen minutes long. It was kind of mm. kind of a buzzkill growing up because you're like, it would get so real and so intense. And like rewatching it as an adult, like you saw you saw the a dark transition. Like you'd see the changes in Anakin happening. Yeah. And, oh my God. Like, it's just with that said, I haven't seen the last episode of Clone Wars. Mm. I've seen all. Oh, of yeah, Rebels. that's right. Uh, still, yeah. So I'm going to have to finish rebel uh, Clone Wars. Um, that way I can get ready to watch and see, man, I forgot that you haven't finished Clone Wars. And then you saw, uh, like, cause like you didn't, you kind of understand what's going on in the Mandalorian when you see Ahsoka, but yeah. the end of Clone Wars really like gives you uh, a better understanding of what's going on with mm. everything. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, yeah. it gives you that good book ending, I guess you could say of what's yeah. actually happening. And I was juiced watching it and I can't wait because I know me when I watch this, I'm going to be, oh, bro, we should probably watch it together. Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> Like two hours is nothing. Like you know, yeah. bust that out and like bust that out in the yeah. binge watch. After Justice League, two hours ain't oh, shit. Like, man, <laughs> we thugged it through Justice League, Holy you guys. Cow. Like that was a marathon. It yeah, like that marathon. was. A, yeah, we just watched it the whole way through. Was munching down Wingstop. Got hungry again. Ate the Wingstop while it was cold. <laughs> we had a good Boy, time. We had a good time. Had a, yeah, I had a had a grand old time. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, yo, that. But this announcement's amazing. Uh, I remember you had talked about this before, and we weren't sure if it was going to happen because um, it was Cartoon Network. Mm -hmm. And then, so you know, it's good to see that Disney can get these things. You know, I'm I'm kind of interested on how they're acquiring all this. Yeah, I'm curious. Yeah, the logistics of it, uh, because technically, (coughs) like all of most, like all of things that have come out on Cartoon Network for the most part come out on HBO Max. So mm-hmm. um I'm curious to see how they kind of figured it out. Um with that said, uh I I I I, I don't know the world of business when it comes to that type of stuff. I would hope <laughs> that uh you know companies are kind of generous, but then like we have Sony and Spider Man and so I don't know 
That's uh, very true. <laughs> that, yeah. And so that we know how that transpired for a while that we thought it was canceled. Like, yeah. So I'm sure it could have gotten ugly, but HBO is HBO. I'm sure they uh, have some great people behind the helm trying to make that happen. Yeah, um, I agree. I'm, 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 I'm just juiced. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so much great stuff to come to uh, Disney Plus. Mm. Yep. Is that coming on this year or? I don't know. We don't have a specific date yet. Um, oh, it's just, just been confirmed that it's yeah, happening. It's, it's, it's happening. Yeah, at some point they will be coming to Disney Plus. That's awesome. Yep. And uh, more awesome news, yo. Uh, Baron Mordo has been confirmed to be in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Yep. Um, and that is awesome, yo. Uh, if you guys don't know who Baron Mordo is, he is the sorcerer from uh, the first Doctor Strange movie who ended up leaving <laughs> because he wasn't happy how the Ancient One was, you know, handling the magic that she was actually saying to everyone not to use. Yeah. Uh, and then he kind of ended it with no more sorcerers. And he somehow took his mat, he took mat, not his magic, but he took magic from someone from another sorcerer. Yeah. So maybe they look for him to kind of get to Wanda because they know Wanda's tripping mm. and they try to use him to take her magic. Mm-hmm. Kind of like that, what, that'd uh, be intense. Like that's like, because you like, know he's been smacking. I want he probably didn't get whipped, and if he didn't, you he know he's been smacking sorcerers people, yeah. this whole time. Yeah, exactly. Just, mm-hmm. Unless so he was like watching the sanctum, like what? Because you know, like this, what we've been trying to figure out was who was watching the sanctum mm. during the five years. You know, since uh, Doctor Strange, Wong, they were gone. You know, mm-hmm. so um, obviously could have been just a newbie, um, but for the most part, we know his character has been on the looking on the hunt for magic people. To take their powers because he thinks there's too many magic, too much magic in the world. Yeah, obviously, and because of how it kind of worked out with the, um, the, is it the Grandmaster Supreme or the, I forget the title. Sorcerer Supreme. Sorcerer Supreme. Sorcerer Supreme. My man uh, said Grandmaster. Supreme. I know. I was I was thinking of golf for some reason. I like, <laughs> <laughs> I but uh, but yeah, I'm man. Pumped, that- man. That's that's a great observation, and I, I, I'm pumped as well. I just can't wait to see what direction they take this. Uh, Baron Mordo, Wanda, they already said we're supposed to have a, a nightmare in there. Mm-hmm. Spider-Man, I think they said Spider-Man's supposed to be in it. You know what I mean? Uh, that's just A lot so, of characters. It's just so much going on. We're going to have a Civil War event in this Doctor Strange movie, and yeah. I'm, I'm ready for it. Uh, yeah. Magic, let's do magic versus superheroes or something. You yeah. know what I mean? I, I don't know, but I want it. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Definitely. Um, moving forward. We got a new official poster for Loki. And it's been released. I don't know about you, but I'm pumped. Hopefully you guys are pumped as well. Um, with that said, we don't have no, a lot of information about the show besides the trailers that we've gotten. And yeah. even then... They don't really kind of talk about like what's happening. What are your thoughts on this poster? Man, I'll say this may be one of the best posters that they have had for the Disney Plus shows announcements. Mm-hmm. Uh, I really enjoyed the ones that they had for Falcon and Winter Soldier mm-hmm. uh, with the different people. But this, this is amazing. This looks awesome, bro. I I just want to bask in how great it looks. Mm-hmm. And uh um, I remember we were really bagging on the on the logo when it had first came out, and yeah. then I think someone had broke it down that each letter is actually stolen from another movie's letter. So like the L is from the Incredible Hulk, the O is from like one of the Thor movies, the K is from another movie, and then the I is from another movie. What? And they, yeah, so that the, he's stealing different pieces of time, like like. I love it, bro. I love it, man. Like, yo, what if we see the Incredible Hulk? I would love that, yo. I would love... Oh, you talking about other than the Incredible Yes, Hulk? the other oh, Incredible oh, Hulk. Oh, oh, oh. That would be awesome, bro. Yo. I, would love that. I would love that, bro. I would super love that. Oh, I can see man. that. That would be badass. Hell yeah, that would be... <laughs> Holy crap. I didn't know that. That's wild. 
Yeah, bro. I'm gonna find. I'll find the video after this and show it to you. So we're we can talking watch hella it. trash about the the logo. Yeah, we were like that logo that. is stupid. As <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people were like, they were making their own logos. Like, yo, yeah. Disney, hire me. This I remember logo. seeing those. We were we were like, bro, these are way better than the logos yeah. that, that than the logo they made. But just mm-hmm. knowing that each letter is a piece of another movie's you know title mm-hmm. sequence that just makes it all all the more worth it, man. Mm-hmm. I love the timepiece in the back because, you know, this show is going to be heavily centered around time. I just love it. Yeah. Uh, how, how do you feel about it, man? Are you loving it as much as I am? Or is, or, I or, love it in that it, feel, it feels like there's a lot of hidden messages. Obviously, we have the clock behind him kind of representing that there's going to be a lot of time stuff dealing with time. He has yeah. the mutant necklace that we see in, like, X-Men that, like, keeps him from using powers. Oh, I'm assuming dude. that's what that is. Um, okay. obviously he's in a jumpsuit, so he's like, like being held prisoner. Um, I think what you had mentioned with the stealing of logos was really awesome. Yeah. Um, I, I don't know. We just like, we don't know how this Loki is going to be. Cause we saw how the logo and Loki and our MCU kind of transitioned into kind of becoming a good guy, but and he never had that. That's something that I truly always forget. I just want to say that is I know that probably everyone else does is that this is not the Loki that we saw in Thor Ragnarok. Yeah, this is the Loki that we saw in the very first Avengers movie. Mm -hmm. So he's still trying to take over the world and he's still trying to help Thanos. You know, Mm -hmm. like that's the Loki that we have right here. And uh, I completely forgot about that, bro. Like until you said that just now. So. Because our, our, lo- our Loki's dead. Like We're technically getting another villain show. Like, because WandaVision was Loki showing us the villain. So Loki is definitely a villain. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm pumped. Plus, like, the trailers show us seeing a lot of new characters in terms of, like, that we haven't seen. So I'm excited. Yeah, I'm excited. definitely. I can't wait. More amazing things coming from Marvel all the time. <laughs> definitely. Um, but let's, man, let's talk about the ma- amazingness that has just passed the four hour movie that is Justice League, the Zack Snyder cut. Um, oh, man. Okay. So, Zack Snyder has revealed that Jon Stewart, Green Lantern, was originally going to be in Justice League Snyder cut, but the studio was strongly against it. So that's very unfortunate, of course. That's very, Ooh. very unfortunate. But I will say what we did get from that movie. I'm I, okay I, with what we got. Yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with what we had all the way, all the way through. But seeing Jon Stewart in that would have been amazing. I'm not. Yo, gonna... I don't even know what I would have done. Like to get all yeah. that plus Jon Stewart plus uh, Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern because he was supposed to be a part of it as well. Yeah, yeah. Oh that would have been gosh. all amazing. That would have been insane. I would have loved it. Um, for whatever reason, uh, I know we talked about it before in person that uh, the studio has other plans for John Stewart. That's why they did told him they were like they were, they were kind of struggling against it. Mm-hmm. So I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll see him down the line. I don't I don't think they wanted to see him in the movie, obviously for another a number of reasons, but for the main reason being that this movie might be the one and done. And they don't want to have a new character that's never been seen before um, in the DC in the DC universe in a film that's technically not going to go anywhere. So, uh, yeah. with that said, I feel like this movie is extremely has done <coughs> extremely well, and so I think we will see. I hope. I hope. I hope we'll see continuation yes. of uh, of the of the movie. Yeah, I I agree. Like, man, I agree completely. And I think for the rest of this episode of Marvel Bros, we're going to be talking about Justice League Snyder Cut uh, thing. (laughs) And with that, uh, to interject really quick, I just wanted to ask you a question uh, more for people that watch Mm -hmm. this later on is Mm -hmm. why did they choose the four by three aspect ratio for this movie? Okay, so from what, what I understand... Mm-hmm. So for those of you guys who don't know what the three, three, four aspect ratio is, that's kind of the axis. That's like the ratio we watched, like in the old style TVs. Like I don't know, like on the big cube ones. That's I think that's the ratio that they're normally on. Um, but for the longest time, that was the ratio that Zack Snyder, I'm pretty sure, was only able to watch his version in. 
like mm-hmm. with the unedited version, that's the only way he was able to kind of watch it. Um, and then coming soon is the black and white version of his film. And from mm-hmm. what I understand, there's going to be um, an alternate Joker scene, apparently. Um, but the, what he used to watch before he even got to make it was a three, four aspect ratio and it was only black and white. And so that's why we're going to be seeing that. Um, obviously for us, it was kind of an issue from the start, but then you didn't care as it kind of, it was so good. I literally forgot about it. Like, you just kind of forget. Like I was like, Oh yeah, this is, this movie is like, it was something that I got reminded by, you know, it was just like, When I would look at you because of sheer happiness and then look back, <laughs> you know, and be like, oh, yeah, that's right. The boxes are on the side. Mm-hmm. And then I don't care because it's just amazing this happening on the mm-hmm. screen. Like, like, we, my man, my man was speechless at moments. Like, we yeah. were just, that, that, it was so amazing, man. Some of the greatest, the greatest cinema that was, that wasn't watched in the cinema, like that I've ever bar- partook in. You know we what I mean? We just kept like, coming at us with like, oh epic my stuff goodness. And, like, we just didn't know what to do. Like, it was just, when yeah. the movie ended, we just kind of sat there. We were just kind of like, what? Oh. Like, <laughs> why like why did they just do that to us like oh. and then once again you guys definitely gonna have to tune in for that one that oh, yeah. that will also be coming into you later mm-hmm. uh we watched we watched uh zach snyder cut and then we watched falcon and winter soldier so that was a six eight six to eight hour ordeal mm-hmm. uh that we we had went through and it was Going late the well. <laughs> <laughs> so uh we didn't get to get those out right away, but we are going to come at you with those coming this week, definitely. Definitely. Because it was a gr- – you see how happy we are talking about it right now. So I can't wait to talk to you guys about it as well. So, oh, um, right. Yo, actually, right before you get into this next announcement, I say that when you put the announcement up, like, and when I seen it, I sh- – my pants you know what i mean no. like i was like oh my god mm-hmm. <laughs> and you know what uh you guys don't know unless if you haven't watched it you won't know what we're talking about so it might be spoilerish but it's not like a super spoiler or anything like that yeah. um but this particular individual we both were talking about each other during the film like this guy seems important like there's something up about this dude he's either gonna be a bad guy or like screw over someone or like mm-hmm. he's gonna become something later on and sure enough uh, before, uh, while Zach was working on the Snyder Cut, um, he confirmed that I don't know how to say his name. Zenj Kai's Ryan Ryan, I think that's his name, or Zen Kai's uh, Zing Kai Zing Kai. Like his character is Ryan Cho Choi. Yeah, Ryan Choi. R- Ryan Choi in Justice League Snyder Cut. Um, and he's a he's a professor that works with Cyborg's dad in the movie. Mm. Um. But that character was initially going to be the Adam. Um, but prior to like working on it, uh, S- Snyder was like trying to get the studio to make a spinoff film uh, oh. for that particular character. Um, and from what I understand, that actually might be happening. Um, mm. I don't know if it's going to be connected to the Snyder cut, but now that they have him introduced, they're going to kind of do like what they did, what they're doing with Cheng Chi, Sang Chi, in that Shang-Chi. it's like. A- yeah. Uh, like an all uh chinese cast for like for like the chinese mm-hmm. audience um and so obviously that yeah that that's awesome the adam yeah. is an awesome character i really liked him in dc legends of tomorrow oh he was in there yeah he he was actually first introduced in the arrow as being the billionaire that bought queen consolidated uh, later, and then later on, he became a superhero who was the Atom, and then the Atom ended up joining DC Legends of Tomorrow. Yeah. And then that actor is the actor that plays Superman in Superman Returns. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know you're talking about. I know you're yeah. Talking about. And then he's kind of like the the Tony Stark kind of vibe in uh, DC uh, universe. I mean, yeah. the Arrowverse. Yeah, mm-hmm. in the Arrowverse, yeah. So in this, though, he gives me more Ant-Man vibes, you know, mm-hmm. like kind of, you know, creating the particle, whatever, you know what I mean? The pen mm-hmm. particle and then that causing him to do this. Yeah. Uh, so I'm juiced for that. I think that movie would be amazing. I liked his character, what we did see of him. Because yeah, like you said, we, it was just like weird, you know? It was weird how they were giving us like bits we'll of him, him. Yeah, yeah like it was like man he seems like he's important you know mm-hmm. and so when this announcement came out that's why i was so 
surprise, but once mm-hmm. again, your sixth sense comes through, bro, like all the time. Like, all the time. <laughs> well, I wonder if, yeah, yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, because like literally it stood out. Like, he was in like full on scenes, like with uh, Cyborg's dad. I don't remember the, the dad's name, um, but. It's just he just felt unique, like something was st- stood out, and like I don't know if it was like his optimism or like mm-hmm. how much he believed in what he was doing, um, and then like he kind of like during mo- moments in the movie, he he like he can kind of tell that uh, Cyborg's dad's kind of hiding something, but like not in like a malicious way, like he wasn't like oh this dude's shady or shit, you know, like he was exactly. like exactly. I wonder what he's up to. I love like, science. Why I would love to be really? a part of it. Like yeah. <laughs> Like he was like I, I he was like I I more want to be a bigger part and know all the secrets as to like what's going on you know and that's and I thought that was pretty cool obviously it was also kind of like one of those things where like damn we might never see this character again but I'm glad we got to see him yes uh, that's exactly how I felt mm-hmm. um yeah so I'm pumped man I really wish that they gave us a part two even mm-hmm. though that was a four hour movie yeah. I was still <laughs> love a part two of it because there another four crazy. hour part two like mm-hmm. exactly um, like surprise <laughs> four and a half hours got you guys it's like awesome. could you imagine four and a half hours like I that four think- hours <sighs> I didn't have an issue with it per se, but my body felt the length. Mm. My, like sitting down for four hours, definitely my body definitely uh, was kind of feeling. I don't know, like you got up occasionally, kind of stand up, just, yeah, you know, just to get the blood flowing a little bit. Yeah, I probably should have did that because <laughs> uh, my legs were not having it after that. <laughs> yeah, I felt my legs falling asleep like during the. I was like, oh no, nah, let me hold on, let me let me yeah. stretch these things a little bit. <laughs> um, but. Sticking on the on the Snyder Cut uh, train, um, more potential spoilers. Uh, if you didn't catch it at the end of Snyder Cut, mm-hmm. um, Lois Lane is indeed <clears throat> pregnant, and uh, they showed it in a low key way. And they actually digitally altered the original ending where she's holding a box into mm-hmm. her holding a bassinet. Yeah. Uh, and then that actually connects back to some, the different part of the movie where we see her with the pregnancy test in her yeah. uh, drawer. Mm-hmm. And I believe I that was actually when Martha was there talking to her. I think Martha had knocked on the door, and so she's like, yeah. "Come in!" And she like puts it back. Yeah. So she, had to, mm-hmm. she had something in her hand. She had to put it back, and so she opens the drawer, and I was like, oh, "Is she pregnant?" I wasn't sure. What, you know, like we were like, what does yeah. that even mean? Like, what? And then the and then they confirmed it at the end, which was awesome. I was like, yeah, yeah this is this is amazing. Yeah, because not only do you see the basket, but Batman like stops or Bruce Wayne's kind of like tells Superman, "Hey, congratulations." Um, they don't go into like why he said congratulations, but like through mm-hmm. that pregnancy test and the basket, you can kind of infer that she is a preg- she is pregnant, and Zack Snyder himself even confirmed that she is in fact pregnant. That's uh, that's I think that's a really that's an amazing thing to add in there, man. And it's like you said, and it's very subtle. Uh, and the potential for that is amazing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Superman's son could bring any, it could be anything, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then I love how they left it off uh, with Batman and Superman, you know, on that friendship, you know, basically just yeah. chilling and talking and, you know, walking uh, through his farm, basically going yeah. to the house type thing. I, I really like that. Mm-hmm. And I would have liked to see them capitalize on their relationship with each other now that yeah. you know, things are set the way they are. Mm-hmm. I dig it. I just like it, man. I agree. <laughs> I agree. Now, speaking of that, son, um, I, I think if Snyder got to continue his Snyderverse, there was going to be a Three part uh, movie for Justice League, so it would have been it would have been someone like uh, Lord of the Rings, and Ooh. part two. I don't rem- I think it was you know more of that nightmare sequence, kind of going into the more of that storyline, and then part three was we were going to see Batman actually dying, and having Superman's son take on the mantle of being Batman himself. What? If Zack Snyder got to continue, so 
Ooh. I don't know how that would have been, but that's that. That's yeah, funny. that sounds wild, man. Oh uh, my gosh! Immediately, like, oh man, yeah. <laughs> like, I, like, how do you feel? Like, you know, like that's that's so unique. I don't even know if we have that. Ex- exactly. I was about to say. I feel like that is the most creative thing that I have ever heard. Like, I don't mm-hmm. think that happens in anything. And. Mm-hmm. The vibes that I kind of got was uh, the show that we, the movie that we watched with the kid who was like an evil Superman. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I remember the name. I can't think of. Yeah. I remember um, it, but I can't think of the name right now. <laughs> Brightburn. Brightburn, yep, yep. That's it. Yeah. And then I think that that's just, I don't know why, but that's just the vibes that I got just because, yeah. you know, how Damian Wayne is in the comic books and kind of how he gets, how it goes kind of dark. Yeah. Uh, I would have loved to see that. Um, yeah, that, I think that would have been amazing, man. That sounds so awesome. How do you feel about that, though? Well, I don't want to get into too much because we're going to get into like deep spoiler talk for another video that we're going to be working on. Because uh, the end kind of laid the seeds for that whole kind of inter- that whole Batman death in a way. Uh, but like you know, they're just kind of having a conversation that comes up. So, um, yeah. but. I think it's awesome. I think it's a cool way to kind of go about it. You know, it's funny because during the movie we were talking about right before they brought up like this thing, I had just, I was talking about it in terms of, I was telling Mark about deceased and sure enough, that particular thing came up, but I wouldn't mind seeing the deceased storyline come into play in that the use of that particular thing does the same thing because Zack Snyder it kind of seems like that's where it was going to go. Yeah, because he makes, he's made, like, he's making Army of the Dead, and he made Dawn of the Dead. So he knows how to make zombie movies. So I'm just saying, like, that, you know you know how cool that'd be? I do know how cool that would be, and I am <laughs> all the way there. Like, that'd be it. insane. Can you imagine? I would love to see a live-action superhero slash zombie movie. That would yeah. be amazing, man, to see Batman fighting zombies, bro. Yeah seeing Superman flying through and just zzz, laser and zombies yeah. heads off like Wonder Woman come through the the thing that really co- that really makes zombie movies so amazing too is that you can get like really creative with how they kill the zombies and yeah. I would just love to see them do that with all the different heroes you know what I mean like <clears throat> kind of it's going to be like Mortal Kombat <laughs> yeah just yeah, finishers left and right I, and you know what? Uh, the zombies, in particular, in the comic, they're very similar to the zombies or the people in uh, Twenty Eight Weeks Later or uh, Twenty Eight mm. Days Later. So they're like, they like run and like they're like super savage. Like oh they wow, have, like they, they have rabies like status. Like, oh my goodness, <laughs> like, they're, they're no joke. So uh, that'd be awesome. That'd be really awesome. Yeah, that sounds amazing. I'm definitely like I said, man. I'm there for it. I really want to see. I, I want all of that to happen immediately. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I want to see so much, uh, just there's so much potential for movies everywhere. And I just want yeah. to start seeing these uh, companies taking the yeah. creative risks on the movies so we can mm-hmm. actually see it come to, you know, existence, man. Yeah. All right. Well, and with that said, I think that com- brings us to the end yes, of today's pop culture news update. Um, and with that said, please make sure to follow us on all of our social medias at Marvel Bros 23 on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget about our YouTube channel where we'll be posting all of our videos pretty often. That's right, man. And also, you can check out this live on our website. That is www.marvelbros.com. And on our website, you can check out our merchandise. You can donate and do just a whole bunch of stuff. Our Discord is on our yep. website at the top right hand section if you're on desktop and if you're on mobile you you just gotta scroll down a little bit uh yeah man join our discord we have great conversations in there uh and it's just it's an all-around great time all the time so thank you guys for tuning in on this pop culture news update and we will see you next sunday and we're gonna see you this week too (laughs) definitely definitely excel see you guys later